Well, hey guys and gals, welcome back to another episode here on the Blockhead server. This is episode 65, I think. 65 of Blockheads, that's pretty fun. Anyway, today um, I wanted to do some stuff around our base a little bit. I might... Well, we'll see. I, I, well, yeah, I got a couple of things. Well, I don't know if a cat is a thing, but I got a couple of things. We've got George. I will, I will hug him and squeeze him. And then we have Bones, right here. Uh, Bones came from sort of the spawn town because there's some cats around there because of the villagers. And then um, uh, Pale gave me this cat um, because he has some villagers and they were kind of spawning around there. So I got this cat. And then now we have a little baby kitten that I need to name. But I, I do need to harvest their heads a little bit as we go. I know that's really sad and, and kind of... But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to get every head on the server, and I don't care what it takes. So, uh, but I won't kill either of these two, and I probably won't kill this one, because he's just so cute. But when I start getting too many cats, then then maybe we'll start to uh, deal with them. Anyway, um, we also have some heads to deal with. We got a couple of Edrimid heads. We got another glow squid. We got phantoms and a hog thing and a strider. And we got a dolphin head, which you saw at the beginning there. Oh, shut it, will you? And then we have a Steve's head, which is kind of interesting because um, I spawned a Steven to be at one of the farms. Oh, when I was farming the concrete for our um, for the Hall of Wonders, um, I had to kill Steve when we were done. And so then um, I got that and, and a guardian head, of course. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the head room and go ahead and uh, put these on the wall where they go. That'll be fun. Okay, here's our guardian. There he is, and a glow ink sack. I only have two glow ink sacks left. There he is, there's our guardian. Okay, here we go, an enderman. I thought I had enderman already, but I did not. Look at that, he's hiding in there. <laughs> okay, here's our dolphin. And unfortunately, we don't have any, um, we don't have any more glink, uh, glink, glink. We don't have any more glink. Yeah, glink, glow ink. <laughs> we'll just call it Glink. That makes sense. Okay, see, so here's the problem. I have a Strider, but I don't have Freezing Strider. It goes Strider and then Toast. So I think what I'm going to do is put this guy in the Overflow up on the top level. Okay, so right here we have our cow. I, I can't believe I didn't put cow on there. There's actually a reason. It's because it was uh, I was going off of a list that uh, I found online, and so the list was not complete apparently so um we're gonna go ahead and put our freezing strider right there and then we need to make a sign for him and stuff but uh yeah and then steve's head i don't know i feel like steve needs a special spot right maybe maybe up here like in one of these alcoves like this like there's steve's head something like that i think that works out Okay, here we go. Here's our cow. And then we're going to do the strider uh, freezing. Done. And then we need candles for the freezing strider. I think I'm going to give him two. Because, I mean, it's kind of hard to get, but then kind of easy to get, actually. So there we go. Two for our freezing strider. One for the cow. And then we've got the zombified piglin. But the problem is, is we need some more dye for these guys. So that guy's got to have a dye. That guy's got die. That guy's got die. And then, oh, there's several more that need the white die. So I'm going to go through and make sure that all these guys have the white die. And then we're going to tackle the issue of not having any glow ink. Okay, and then we're in our little room here. I definitely need to decorate this room better. Uh, eventually we'll do that. Not today, though, but we're going to go ahead and put all these overflow heads in here. Aha! We haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Aha! Aha! <laughs> okay, so we're here at our little storage area, and we now have four cats because I was able to breed another one. Just in case you're counting, the cat count is at four. <laughs> um, so what I have here is, you may remember a while ago, I built this kind of lake thing right here, and I decided that I would, you know, um, sort of... What is that floating around? That was strange. Anyway, um, I decided that I kind of built like this little trough area here, and on the top of this we have some 
uh, what, what is this stuff called? The tinted glass. That's right. The tinted glass. And then underneath that is uh, a place where some glow squid have been spawning. And then also I have some axolotls that have been spawning there as well. Speaking of axolotls, where's... Anyway, we need to have an axolotl area where the axolotls don't die. <laughs> and that's going to be helpful. But then also, like... Uh, this area underneath here, I think what I'm going to do is turn it into a glow squid farm. Not this area specifically right here. Why did I dig all that out? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Uh, getting off track here. Um, what I want to do is take this, this sort of tank here and turn it into a, um, a glow ink farm. So basically all I have to do is make it so that we have flowing water somewhere that is going to go into some... Um, some hoppers and then into a chest that we can access to get the glow ink. Uh, also, I've been getting some drowned spawning down here, so it might might even be able to get um, a trident here and there. I don't know if the axolotls can kill the guys with the tridents, but I anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do as far as making a farm out of this little area here, that, and I think that's going to be kind of cool. So I'm going to get started on that. Okay, so here we are. I have dug out the area that we're going to be using for this, uh, the spawn chamber for our squid. And we already had some axolotls spawn, and they killed some squid, which is great because I already got 16 glow ink sacks, so I think this is going to work really well. I also cleared out those axolotls just to get their heads because I'm missing axolotl heads still. So now we have two more colors that I don't have to go for anymore, so that's great. Um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do underneath here is where this row is, this kind of marks the center of this chamber. And I'm going to have flowing water on the top so that it's going to flow to the left and to the right, like this. And that is going to cause it so that um, when the, uh, the uh, what do you call those guys? <laughs> the, uh, the squids die, their drops will go um, into those flowing water streams at the top and then those will flow into hoppers, hopefully. Uh, no, I don't want to hug. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't want to hug. I don't want to hug. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want... Yeah, not, not, not right now. Maybe later. Maybe a hug later. But not right now. Get, get away! Mob's trying to hug you. Anyway, um... <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so that's how it's going to work. And we have quite a bit of it done, but I need to put the kelp in to get all of these because none of these are water source blocks, or I assume most of these aren't water source blocks down here. So we need to put some kelp in to make sure that we get uh, water sources going on. And then um, while we're doing that, I actually went over to Moo's base just a little bit ago because he told me that he had 20 double chests of gunpowder. And I was like, how? How are you having 20 chests of gunpowder? And so then he... Uh, he proceeded to invite me over to show me. So while I'm working on the kelp, you guys can watch that, those clips of me kind of visiting Moo's base. What on earth? It's raining creepers. Yeah. What the? Hold on. Farm on the, on the overworld side that feeds. Well, it, they, they keep on it because as soon as they hit the nether, they come up, they, the over, they come into the nether. Uh huh. It removes their mob cap overworld side, so they can just keep spawning. Oh my gosh! Look at all this gunpowder. There's no sorting. It's just great gunpowder that goes through. Nothing's through. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Flying this way. Oh, this is the. This is what? Oh my! When did you build this? It's uh, massive. Uh, oh my gosh! Look at this enormous thing. Hold on, I'm, let me check this out first. It doesn't even load all the way in. What the? This is as big as the world perimeter world. that we already have. A world eater did this for me. Oh my gosh. I oh my gosh. When did you have time to do this? This is the creeper farm right here? Yeah. It's so unnecessary. Here we go.
And that's all it does. It just keeps growing trees. How does it grow the trees? Uh, because underneath it, there is uh, crimson mycelium uh, that's being bone mealed. Oh, okay. And then it grows it, and then it blows it up. And then once it reaches a certain spot, it just then it goes back to it, and it feeds itself. So all the nether warts are turned back into bone meal. Oh, nice. So it keeps itself full of bone meal. What's with the ancient debris, though? Because ancient debris is the only block that can be pushed and is also blast resistant. But why does it need to be pushed? Because it has to push it has to push everything out of the way so that way the TNT can drop straight down into the middle of the tree. So like when the tree grows up, right? Uh -huh. It grows up against the it, grows up against the ancient debris so okay. the ancient debris line pushes it out which then the tnt can drop down that hole and blow up the tree from the inside huh. so where's the tree growing from underneath but how does it is it growing through the hoppers yeah what how yeah. does that happen it can grow uh, through hoppers yeah and well water? some things can yeah for that tour of your base that thing is awesome sorry about the audio issues on that okay so we got all the kelp in and i have a layer here of some cobblestone that layer is going to be where the water is where the flowing water is obviously there's water all in here and then this row right in the center these are going to be all source blocks right in here hopefully is that not grown all the way Next, the trick is going to be to break these without turning them into source blocks. This is going to be kind of hard because up on top here, what I have to do is cover over this area. And I'm trying to make it kind of aesthetically cool, so I'm going to cover it with the glass, actually. And then also, like, some of this natural stone and stuff in here. So I think that I think it's going to work well to make it kind of um, aesthetic and also uh, functional. i got to get my head up. <laughs> It would have been nice to have a conduit around here. Okay, so I have put in all of the slabs on the top. And hopefully what that's going to do is make it so that these blocks here are still water blocks. But then when I break out this, uh, you know, the cobblestone in there, then those will become non-water sources and flowing water. And then they will flow over here. And then on, the, on each edge, I've put a row of hoppers. You can't see them because of the... Uh, the shaded reflections there, but there's a row of hoppers in there on each side. Now, apparently, also, I cannot count because this side is six blocks long and this side seven blocks long, but it doesn't really matter, and I don't really want to dig out this wall. Um, I just don't want to, so I'm not going to. But, uh, yeah, so that's looking pretty good, and all I have to do now is dig out this cobblestone, and what I've done is I've created, like, a little way to get in over here. Uh, if you can see it... Here over here and then all I have to do is hold down shift and swim in here if I could get to it oh this is disorienting so come down here and then if I hit shift there we go okay there we go um or control or whatever the sneak button uh now I'm swimming in this sort of one block gap where I need to be so now all we have to do is just dig out the darn cobblestone in between and we should have uh the correct thing going on here okay so what i'm doing now is i'm putting a hopper line from the other side over here and basically what i've got is um i'm gonna put a double chest right here that both of these hopper lines will flow into and then there's going to be a ladder right here that you can climb down to check the chest uh i know that's like the super derpy way to do it i should probably do um an item elevator I might do an item elevator, but part of me kind of likes the idea of like going down and checking the chest. I kind of I kind of like being low tech sometimes. Okay, so the place where I can check this chest is right here. So here's my base right here where where the cats are. And then just right up here there's a little nook now, and I can just climb down this little ladder right here and place in a double chest. Hopefully uh chests are so annoying to put in, you guys. Hopefully we can do this. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up, so that's great, that's wonderful. Um, so that's how we're gonna check this, at least for now. I might put it in an item elevator later if I get annoyed 
with this, but at least we have a way to climb on down here and uh, check out our little chest. See what's going on. Put a little torch, make sure nobody spawns down there. And yeah, we might even be able to put like a little door. That might be fun. Or I might just leave it open. Probably leave it open. Anyway, that leads us to the last, uh, well, almost the last step here. But basically what we need to do is remove these slabs and then hopefully the water streams will still be there. And then of course I need to remove the, um, these two sea lanterns so that we have the correct light level in here. I also need to remove this thing because there's like all this little cave system in here. Uh, so I'm just going to remove this torch and make it so that we can still get down in here just to check out what's happening. I might have to put a door right here to this. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, anyway, hopefully we can just carefully remove these guys. And I finally found a use for my granite. I turned them into temporary slabs. Okay, there we go. They're all taken out. Uh, looks like I'm getting some light over here that I don't want. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that torch and put something else on the floor. We don't have that extra light. And then looks like we're getting some light over here as well that I don't want. Oh, you know what? I think it's because I have dynamic lights on. So I take that out of my hand. Yeah, we are getting some light here from this torch, so I'm going to have to take this one out as well. And then I think what I can do is just put like a, um, a moss carpet on the floor of each one of those to keep anything from spawning. I don't think they can spawn where the ladders are, though. All right. Okay, now all we have to do is wait for the magic to happen. Okay, I flew up to the surface for a minute, came back down. See if there's anything in here. See if there's anything in here. It's super dark, I know. I don't see anybody in here. Maybe I didn't go far enough away for long enough. I don't know. I don't know, but it should start to work. It should start to work because I did have things spawn in here earlier, so we'll see. I'll let you know if something spawns. Okay, something must have happened because we got six glow ink sacks. Uh, I didn't even hear it happen, but that's good. All this stuff I need to pull out because it's just all stuff that's junk. But we got six glow ink sacks. I'm just going to leave those in there to see how much we get. Uh, this is kind of like one of those farms where it's like just kind of convenient. You know, I'm not trying to get a ton of drops. I'm just trying to like use something that I already had in order to create um, something useful like, you know, these little ink sacks. So I should be able to collect quite a few of them. Um, it's not supposed to generate like a thousand ink sacks an hour or something crazy. Um, it's just supposed to be um, something that is convenient. I did get a few more heads. Um, so I did get those two axolotl heads that I was talking to you about. But I also got three cat heads, not from the cats that I've bred, but because Moo gave them to me. So those are going to go into our surplus boxes and because for me to get a head, I have to actually have killed the creature. And so I'm not just going to take heads from other people t for my collection. I don't feel like that's really collecting. That's more like, you know, may maybe it is. I don't know. But to me, that's like cheating or something. So um, I'm not going to do that. Well, something's going on down there because now we have eight. So, yeah. I did check it out just a little bit ago, and there were a couple of axolotl down there, and I actually got the other head that I needed, the wild one. So we've got the wild, I think that's supposed to be the Cy cyan, but it's called something different. It's called, what are you called? It's called, yeah, cyan, and then the other one is uh, gold, uh, but I think it's called yellow when you actually break the head. Uh, the head itself says, oh, it does say gold. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm super smart. Uh, the only other one that we're missing is the blue one, which I think you have to do by breeding the axolotl, so I'm not really interested in trying to kill any more axolotls. So that's great. We're done with those, and that set is almost complete, except for the really rare blue one. Oh, there we go! Look! There's one right there! Sweet! Alright, it's definitely working. I'm really happy that uh, we have a new farm, and it's it's going well. And he's dying somehow. I think he might be dying of, uh, I don't know if an axolotl's killing him. I'm not going to be able to get down there fast enough. Oh, jeez. I hate that when you can't, like, climb down a ladder hole. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was dying from suffocation or not. Or if the axolotls were killing him. But there's one. Right there, let's see what happens to him. Or her. Or it. Or whatever. So... There's an axolotl. Okay. 
Yeah, so the axolotls are like spawning in here naturally with the glow squid. So I don't even have to like put axolotls in here because they just come and kill it. <laughs> and because of the tinted glass, we can see what's going on and it doesn't affect the spawn rates. So love this tinted glass for that, that's for sure. All right, somehow we've collected 13 glow ink sacks already. So that brings our total up to 41. So that's going really well. Okay, so the next thing that I'm working on right here is we have a little patch of some farmland over by the house that is in this area. And eventually, of course, I want to build some more of these houses. But what I kind of want to do right now is add in a little bit more of this farmland in here and then kind of plan out where I want these little houses to be a little bit. So I'll probably have one, maybe, I think I should have two over here, maybe one back here and maybe one or two over in this area. So I'd like to do that. I don't, I don't really know, like, I feel like that's kind of my thing when I play, whoa, slime. Sorry, I thought I heard a creeper behind me. <laughs> that's kind of my thing when I play survival Minecraft is to build like little civilizations. Um, I, it's just the thing that kind of makes sense to me in this game is to build kind of like little houses, little buildings for people to live in. And so I don't really know why I do it that way, but I do. It just kind of makes sense to me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I think what I want to do first is build sort of like a pathway around this central spire here. that's kind of holding up the whole uh, cave right here. And then... Um, kind of go from there and see uh, what else I want things to look like. Okay, well, not only have I built a pathway, but I did quite a bit of decorating. I built a derpy tree. Uh, I, I put in that, that, that carrot farm that uh, I said I was going to do, or the carrot like area, or the farm area. I don't even really remember what I said, because honestly, it's been like weeks ago. Because I started going back to work. Um... And I've been very busy. And not only have I been very busy, but I've been exhausted in the afternoons. Like when I come home, I don't want to do anything. I, I don't want to sit at my computer and move my fingers around. Um, that, that, that being on my like mouse and keyboard, right? Like, yeah. Um, but look at this pathway. I'm very happy with it. Anyway, I've been super, 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 super tired. So I apologize that there haven't been any blockheads videos. It's been all I could do just to get um, a few, you know, building with hex videos out with some skyscrapers and stuff. Um, that's been about all I could do um, as far as producing video... Zzz, videos. <laughs> anyway, um, I did a little pumpkin farm right here, and you can see I kind of laid out some houses. So I've got one there, and I've got one there, and I've got one there. And then I kind of laid out the pathway out this way. I didn't really do a lot of decorating um, on this pathway over here, but I definitely, of course, decorated a lot over there. Decorated. Um, what I wanted to do was to build these houses out first and then work on decorating around them because I kind of realized that I might be going over my decorations. But the pathway kind of stops right here. Eventually, it's going to continue back into the sort of ravine over here. Oh, you guys see what I see? I see a tiny creeper. Creeping around up there. There he is. Now you can see him. Boom. Gotcha. Okay. He's dead. Now, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. We we're showing off these houses. So I think that's good. I, I kind of wanted to vary up the style of them, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've been kind of in like a building crisis also during this time. Just kind of in general, looking at, looking at builds of other people, especially like on Instagram and Pinterest and stuff. Um, because that's pretty much all the Minecraft I can bring myself to do when I'm that tired. <laughs> um, just seeing like the level of detail and just creativity that other people have, it just kind of has been, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. How do you, no, that's not it. Um, see, how do I get to my free camp? F? No, that didn't do it. Dude, I haven't played in so long. I can't remember how to open free camp. I cannot figure out how to get into free cam. Uh, oh my gosh, I found it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I haven't played <laughs> the blockheads for so long. I forgot what the free cam. I use free cam all the time and I've totally forgot what the hotkey was. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, also, I'm realizing that I don't have shaders on. I guess I was working with World Edit a little while ago, and I didn't have the shaders on. But anyways, yeah, this pathway is looking pretty good. I, I'm liking it quite a bit. Quite a stinking little bit. It would be nice, be very nice to kind of have a little bit more done on these, uh, on these here houses. But, yeah, I think, I think if I start getting into that, that our, our time here will get a little bit too long. And so, um, I'm going to end this episode kind of a little bit short, even though it's kind of been a really long episode, actually, as far as time in real life, but kind of short on content. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a fair use of the word content. Okay. All right. Well, guys and gals, more blockheads to come in the future. I promise I will start getting more of these things out to you and hopefully overcome my fatigue. Well, guys and gals, I hope you're having an awesome, beautiful, fantastic, amazing day. And God bless. Pow. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs>